Guys, <laughs> I don't understand what princess is trying to form. Is princess trying to form Laura? I know you. You are trying not to recognize me. Trying to seek attention. Trying to seek attention from all the other ladies. Like pe most people know you. Most people recognize you. Most people want to like. If the person you say the person you have met before say they have not met you, you move on. It's not by force. If he see you and say ah don't worry i have never met you all this i have met you you know me you are trying to play down and like ah, ah, relax it's not by force to know you so and another thing about this housewives and that i like and i don't like like i this the real housewives of lagos does this but this real housewives of abuja are not doing it see they like side talk they like to drag people from their back they like to say nasty things about another person in their back they are not bold enough to say things to their face to the people they are want to say it to like the way they gossip in their back the way they have their own reservation and they will not even mention it to the person they are talking about those things we are going to address in this episode so um tutu like liability they call her tutu pie i be see tutu pie is such a bragging right she's such a brat like i know you come from a rich home you have everything you have the luxury guys the way tutu pie is always talking down people condescending they say i am expecting a whole lot from tutu pie see tutu pie that is oh i'm doing this see you I, whatever you have to offer whatever you can offer us the viewers the rich content see i am expecting it i am anticipating it and i, I want tutu pie to bring it on i want tutu pie to bring what he is capable of because that guy lady is capable of a whole lot their fashion hey god their fashion is amazing their fashion is everything 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 and these ladies can throw shit hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel how are you guys doing this is messy bella on your screen if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe turn on the notification bell and anytime i upload a new video you will get notification guys see you see this particular episode of the real housewives of lagos trust me is full of subtle drama it's not that dramatic dramatic but it has subtle drama that is going to brew up in other episodes that is what this this particular so episode much is gossip so much things that will be used to confront in future that is what this episode is all about so this episode started with comfort and the uh, room fire i don't fire i don't know how to mention that lady's name so both of them were in a dinner date uh, in a lunch date they were talking you guys know when two housewives are together they are going to be talking about other housewives so they started talking about samantha saying nasty things about parents this is your invite are you sure to it's a party <laughs> i'm gonna have to host everyone so we can get to know them better and also show them how a party should be done and I said, oh. Is guest bond party is rubbish, is nonsense, everything is not given, nothing is given. Samantha is this. like they said a whole lot of nasty things about Samantha, like they were dragging Samantha. And I'm like, ladies, you if you have guys have all this observation, all this reservation, why didn't you just say it to Samantha? Why did you just say Samantha? See, this is what we don't like about your party. Must you come out and be spilling rubbish when the person is not there? Are you guys even afraid of Samantha? You guys know Samantha is street. Samantha, is, Samantha I heard no correct. So if you want to insult her, come with, like she will give you guys both, understand? So guys, this is how ladies were just talking and talking about Samantha. That is how Comfort um, invited Rufai what's her name into her drag party you understand she was saying oh she's handling a drag party her party is this her party is that she's bringing out the dreams and i'm like okay 
I, this party that you guys are hyping like this i know i hope it's going to be party <laughs> i know it's, i hope it's going to be partying because i don't want to see nonsense in that party so um they had their fun enjoyed their meal and they moved to the next scene so the next scene was um princess and her son understand princess told us her best friend is her mother she's uh, her best friend is a party like her mother is a party she's always going everywhere with her mother and now in this episode she's telling us that her best friend is her son so and i'm like okay <laughs> how many best friends you get all these people are your family you understand so they are not your friend so she went ahead with in a dancing move uh i don't know what that is all about they were stressed Her son is so so intelligent. Her son is such an thing that they were teaching her son. Her son was just picking it up. Like her son even learnt more than her, the mother. Like you know when sons are smarter, when children, so many children are smarter than their parents. So she, she he was even learning the dance move, the moves and all that, or everything than her mother, than his mother. And I'm like, okay good one son <laughs> nice one son so maybe in another episode princess will bring out another person either her daughter <laughs> or her best friend that is her best friend again because episode one mama episode two papa episode three father so we are expecting more of a princess best friends moving on to um this particular subtle dramatic scene so my god this scene is so strong like you see this three strong personality i don't think these people are really that strong personality because the person i am seeing as a strong personality is two to five like be two to five so uh rufai abi rufai i don't know her name i don't know how to pronounce it and their uh, comfort were in a dinner date i've been mean, in, in a lunch date they were just there talking and having conversations i don't know who invited princess princess came there and princess was like come forward hi how are you doing i know you i can recognize you you are so this you are so that and comfort was like what is going on here <laughs> Her facial expression was not even given. Even in her confessional, she was like, how did I know you? How did I meet you? How did I get to understand you? Like, what is going on here? I don't even know you that much. And Princess kept insisting. She was saying, yes, I have met you before. You cannot come here and be playing dumb. You cannot come here and be playing that you don't, you have been claiming that you don't know me, you have never met me, blah, blah, blah. She kept insisting and insisting and insisting. Even the Rufai, that, that man, the manly woman like that is there. She was saying, ah, the rest is not by force to know you. She, you face, your face look familiar, but they have not met you. Comfort was confused. Comfort was like, I don't know you. And I'm like, uh, what is this girl, um, princess? Are you trying to bring Laura's strategy? Are you trying to bring Laura's drama? Are you trying to bring the Laura and the Shioma, Zikoku, their drama? Oh, I know you. You are just an acquaintance. You are a customer. You are this, you are that. That was so dramatic. Is that what we are all about in this same episode? Is that what we are all about again? Is that same road that these housewives are going to still follow? Because <laughs> it caused violence, so but she says she doesn't know you. Rest, it's not by force to know you. <laughs> <laughs> it's not by force to know you so I, I, I don't know I, I, you don't have to be disgracing yourself like that or insulting yourself I saw that as an insult like you are just belittling yourself you are more than that like, like you are more than that if she just says she doesn't know you then she doesn't know you moving on so in that sense look like someone that talked too much <laughs> princess talk a whole lot 
the, even the ladies were just looking at her like she talked too much and she is always laughing to cover her excesses like you know, <laughs> like see inside that the, the that in comfort actually throw the shade on her you understand she was like ah, ah you know me now i am the i am the queen you are the princess the queen is greater than the princess i say the shade the shade It's the shade for me. <laughs> All the shade we are going to be understand. So, in that same regard, in that same space, princess was just going on and on and saying, "Ah, ah Tutu Pai does not have a man. Tutu Pai is always um, taking the guys that does not want her, that than the, the guys that she wants, than the guys that she need. Like she is always dating, she's always around guys that does not want her. All of this kind of stuff. She's always in a relationship, whereas she's not in a relationship. Her father is always is expecting a good man from her. Blah blah blah. That for me, I I think if you are really to Pai's friend, must you say that? Do you really have to go to that point? Do you really have have to go to that space like do you really have to go there like what about sign you to buy her relationship and what you guys are gathered there to do the ladies are still hypocritical they don't know when to express themselves they will express themselves in the confessional they are saying ah tutupa is her friend why is she talking um why is she saying that things about tutupa her relationship and all of that when you can sign her blah 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 and i'm like why did you just say it in her front just say it to her, tell her to her face. Why are you saying it here? Say it to her face so that she will know. Like the way this princess was just talking about um to two party relationship, I don't understand it. I know you guys are friends, you guys are party, but at least you respect people's uh, private relationship like you uh, people you think you say they are your friend you have to respect them it's very very important so he says all this all those things about her relationship in the presence of the girls if these girls if they are gossips they are going to go and tell her and this thing will cause problems it's cause quarrel but uh, you guys princess is always talking and laughing she will say in a cruise understand so that scene was moved like moving on from that scene because it was so exhausting so i met uh, rufai uh, rufai what is her name i don't know they met in the gym and she was like ah in, in, in her mind the lady's mind she's the one that is hosting the drag party she don't never wanted to uh, invite um, uh, samantha according to her samantha is so boring samantha is not a a life of the party kind of person she's not she's not going to be bringing any vibe so what is the point of inviting her samantha is this samantha is that she did not say that in samantha's face so like like <laughs> See, these ladies, I, I, don't, I don't know, are you guys cowards? Like, she did not say it in Samantha's face. She was like, I, I, I am inviting you. Don't worry. I will invite you. Okay, if you never met her in the gym, so you couldn't have invited her. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. So, Samantha is such a calm lady. She doesn't care. You invite her, she comes. She, you, don't, you don't invite her, she will not come. She is there. Like, <laughs> she, she doesn't have a problem. So Samantha is just there, like she will, she she was just there. So guys, hmm. so she went ahead and invited Samantha for the party. Then moving on, the <laughs> guys, um, princess went to uh, Tutu Pai's house. Really, guys, hmm. you see, princess that have talked down on Tutu Pai have said nasty things about Tutu Pai, have said nasty things about her relationship, saying the lot. He went to her house <laughs> for Tutu Pai to go and cook for her. But you guys, you guys know Tutu Pai is an event planner and she's a chef. She knows how to cook. So both of them 
the, the you guys where two housewives are gathered gossip are started <laughs> there must be gossip so they started having a good laugh they were just laughing about um samantha girls um, bond uh, party like they just they never liked it they were just saying nasty things about it they were just gossiping about it they were just saying that my samantha party was just a trash and i'm like D you guys <clears throat> And that is where Tutu Pai showed Princess her invitation boss. That is where she was rating the invitation boss. She was just saying that, ah. She was just saying that, ah, the invitation boss, she will give the invitation boss three, the five over ten. And I'm like, okay, you are going to give five over ten to an invitation boss that is so beautiful that invitation boss is was so fine so you are just all this fineness that this invitation boss is having you are just going to be giving it just five over ten she was just like ah she's the, she's an event planner she knows what is good and i'm like <laughs> I don't understand. I am expecting, like, I am waiting for Tutu Pai's turn to host the ladies. I am waiting to see what Tutu Pai can go, can be, like, can, can be up to. Because of this, I am this. I cannot do this. I cannot have this. What is this? Like, the way she talks, the way she narrates some things, she, the way, the, the way she, 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 she talks down on things. And I'm like, Tutu Pai, you are going to host the ladies. Let me see. Let me see how classy you are. Because you guys know she's a spoiled brat. And I mean, <laughs> she, uh, her people are rich, her family are rich. So she, 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 she has everything that she wants, you understand? I don't know if that is true or they are just showing off just for the show. But Sha, what we know about her that she is rich and she has it all. So after the whole narrative, they say nasty things, they drag, they insult, they say um, they gossiped, which is expected. She cooked for uh, Princess, Princess 8. I don't know if Princess likes it, trust me. When Princess is going to have another conversation with another, house, uh, another housewife, she's going to say something about that food. That is Princess. Princess is taking Lara's. Um, a kind of personality you understand laura madness laura um drama you understand like she looks so dramatic trust me so i can't wait for princess and tutu pai to clash you understand i am waiting for that clash very important and i'm still waiting for okay i will tell you guys in the end of this video so moving on oj Pochelera and tutu pai went to do shopping you understand so they went to do shopping for the drag party <laughs> The way they were hyping the drag party, I don't understand. So OJ Pocholera came with the class. She came with the boss lady vibe. She came with makeup. She came with beauty. She came with everything. And I, I was thinking, I said, ah, this, this one that this lady came with all this thing, maybe, just maybe she is going to be buying a whole lot. I said this girl was on her phone just pressing and talking. <laughs> She didn't buy anything. I said, ah, all these uh, packages for what? It, I don't understand. You package it to come to shop, ordinary shopping. You are you are coming with. Ah. So you now, what is the, what what is the essence? What is the point? <coughs> she, she didn't buy anything. It was only to to buy that got one or two things, and they talked. They had fun and they said nasty. Um, OJ is not that good in gossip. She doesn't gossip people that much. She always said that she's in a relationship with the money. Moving on to <laughs> to the scene of the deal day. The housewives, they dressed like the their outfit was amazing. Princess outfit was lit. Her outfit was everything. Like she came with the vibe. She came with. She came with. She came with the class. You understand? Princess is such extra kind of person. Extra, extra. So the ladies were looking so 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 pink. They were looking and amazing. And uh, I don't find I be <laughs> I be comfort. She came. She said the drag party is to drag. So she was going to wear drag. I'm like. <laughs> so because they team the party drag party, then you want to drag. You want to wear a veil. See. 
the, the party there is not too much like it was just two um some other older ladies that were moved there like they were nothing in the party i thought there should be a luxury party where people will come people will marry from far and wide i never knew it was just the housewives doing uh, fashion paro i don't understand is that one party <laughs> I don't understand like what is going on I don't get it <laughs> the party was not for me and if you ask me because if you are guys are really um, putting so much um, hype saying things that oh this party will be this what will be that and we see it and it's absolutely nothing like absolutely nothing so um they they did their um, their role work and everything finally princess won in the role work i've been a con role work i beg me so moving on, <coughs> inside that party princess made a joke some people say still saw it as a dry joke and some people saw it as some normal thing <coughs> so she made a joke that she is the youngest person in the real housewife of uh, Abuja. She is so young and all that. And um, Comfort was like, and the Tutu Pai in her confession, I was like, ah, yes, so you are just too young. You are just, uh, she supported Princess. And then uh, Comfort replied, uh, Princess, ah, you are young, but you look older here. <coughs> Which is a lie, trust me. You cannot tell me that. Comfort, um, princess look older than comfort is a lie. Let's let's be real to ourselves. So she was like, uh, princess was like, um, Tutu Pai in her confession. I was like, ah, she's still supporting a uh, uh, comfort and say, ah, you see this uh, Tutu Pai, you are a snitch, you are a bad friend. <laughs> see, I am expecting a whole lot from from Tutu Pai. I am expecting a whole lot from her. See, she, she, she looked like a drama queen and I'm still expecting a whole lot from um, from Princess because she still looked like the Laura of this season. You understand? She looks so dramatic. She, someone does not know you and you are insisting that you know the person and the person is insisting that they don't know you and you are insisting that you know... The, 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 the housewife of Abuja ended there. And we are expecting the next one, guys. The next one, and like I said, told you guys at the beginning of this video, this is just a subtle drama, uh, a subtle drama um, episode. We are still expecting the madness that will come with it, guys. What do you guys think? What do you guys feel? Do you guys think that Princess is the Laura? Do you guys think that Tutu Pai, like, what do you guys feel? Just put your opinions in the comment section, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.